So I bought this Asus Vivo Tab RT refurbished on eBay. And it's, I got it because I thought I was tired of iOS and I was feeling all snobbish and, you know, I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for something different. Well, after using this device for one hour, I couldn't wait to get back to using iOS. It's, it's really bad. I do not recommend this to anybody. It looks great, sure. Oh boy. Windows 8 RT. But watch how slow stuff loads. And I have a 50 meg internet connection to the house. So this is YouTube. By the way, the battery is just awful. Um, I left, you know, I didn't plug it in last night. But I used it for about maybe a half hour. And YouTube's not even loaded yet, by the way. There's that. Um... Can't even get into YouTube. But anyway, if you don't plug this in at night, it it the battery drains. Even though there's no pictures coming out. So battery's garbage. Right now I have it plugged in because it's dead. Or maybe it's not dead, I don't know. But I couldn't turn it on without the power pack earlier. I bought a refurbished, so who knows how the how the battery is also uh they, when they refurbished it, they didn't totally fix it. There's like a vertical line throughout the screen. So I have to live with that. But the speed of this is just, it's such a waste of time. The good part about buying this is that it made, it made me re-fall in love with my iPad. Air. Look at, look at this speed time. Just to look at the finances. I don't have time for this. Why would I want to wait? Why would I want to put up with this? Boy. Finally loaded. And now it wants to update. Well, we're not going to do that right now. If you've never seen Windows 8 RT. Um, supposedly you, it's not like the full Windows 8. I haven't really cared enough about this to, to even figure that part out. Here's a weird thing. So if you use Internet Explorer, the app, and look how long this takes to load. This is, this is just killer, right? So if you wait that long, so that's, that's the app version. Then there's like this other version. So if you tap desktop, and then you get the desktop, and then you select this Internet Explorer. It's like the full fledged version. So I guess that's good, but who cares? It takes forever to load. So this thing's really slow and I don't recommend it to anybody. There is actually one saving grace of this is, is the keyboard. This keyboard is pretty well designed. It feels like substantial compared to some of the keyboards I've used for the iPad. Um, this one, this one's nicely crafted. It, I don't know if you could, you obviously can't touch it, but it doesn't feel like plastic. It's got like a nice texture to it. The keys feel significant. And what's interesting is the way this works with, with this, it almost turns it into like a mini laptop. I don't know if I'm going to lose power here, but I'm unplugging it. Yeah, battery is low, 4%. Terrible. And you, you kind of dock it in here. And and this is a kind of a neat feature. If, I, if, if they did one thing interesting, it's this. And then it like turns into a laptop. So it's like you fold it. And that's cool. So there's like some ports on this thing. And, but I'm never going to even, and then you open it up and it's, it's like a laptop. It's like a mini, it's like a netbook actually. So the keyboard is really nice. The tablet itself, not so much. Battery life, 
and battery consumption methods really poor uh, the, the keyboard itself I kind of didn't like how they did some of the characters but overall the, the quality of it feels nice and it's got a mouse And that's that. I mean, this is the Asus Vivo tab. If you want to buy an Asus Vivo tab, uh, the link is in the description below. I bought it because it was really inexpensive and it gave me a chance to explore Windows 8 RT. I explored it. I'm going to sell this on eBay now because there's not much to explore. If, if you disagree, you could go ahead and say why in the comments. Uh, I just don't like it and I'm happy to use my iPad again and using this for an hour made me appreciate the little nuances that Apple did I'm not an Apple fanboy I used to rep Microsoft although <laughs> the stuff I own is primarily Apple now uh, but anyway I, I'm, I'm I understood Steve Jobs comments after using this and then going back to the iPad so Thank you, Microsoft, for making me not like your thing and make me like the iPads again because I just can't do this. I wanted to do it, too. Like, I was excited to get this thing. A guy at work has a Windows 8 Samsung tablet, and his seems, like, pretty cool. It's bigger. It's, like, 13-inch tablet. Uh, and his is a lot faster than this. So maybe I I'm getting a poor experience due to the... I guess processor. I haven't even looked into the specs. I just, I'm just telling you, you're better off spending an extra hundred or two hundred or three hundred dollars to get the real thing. Windows 8 RT, the original, is not cool. But those are my opinions, and my point is to say that using this made me appreciate Apple, and I'm gonna sell this tomorrow on eBay because I'm never gonna use this. Ever. I, I didn't even want to use this for this demonstration. Like, I'm looking and nothing is inspiring me to tap at all. So, sorry Microsoft, but you guys got a long way to go to catch up to Apple. See ya.